Hi, so today you guys are going to be learning about basic characteristics of the moon. Um, so your EQ or what are the moon's characteristics. Okay, so we're going to start out with just some surface features, what you would see on the surface. Um, the first one are called the Maria. That's how you pronounce it, Maria. Um, these are dark, flat areas that are on the moon's surface. They are basically just hardened lava rock that formed um, a long time ago. And it looks really, um, really, really flat and smooth, um, as you can see on these pictures here. So these are those dark pockets that look like um, the flat areas on the moon's surface. Three to four billion years old, we estimate the Maria to be. The second feature are the craters. Craters are simply just really large round pits that are on the moon. Um, these were caused by meteoroid impacts. We believe that um, because we typically don't find them in the Maria, that the craters must have been made before the Maria existed um, because then you would find craters in the Maria. So, we're not 100% certain why there's not any in the Maria. Um, well, there are some, but not very many. Uh, so it would be assumed then that a lot of the craters were formed all at that same time that the video talked about, that you watched a couple of days ago, um, about that impact where many, many, many of them happened all at once. So those are the little craters. Not so little, but... The third feature are called the highlands. Highlands are lighter in color, so this is what looks like covers most of the moon. Um, and what they basically are, are we consider them to be mountains on the moon. They're not necessarily made the same way of mountains that we have here on Earth with like the tectonic plates forcing up. Um, we believe that this is really just those outer rims of the craters um, that have shaped these higher up areas uh, that have created those highlands. Um, where they were created and their origins are somewhat of a mystery. But again, most of the moon is made up of those highlands. Okay. For the size and density, the moon is about one-fourth of the Earth's size, which is um, a little bit less than just the width of the U.S., so it's quite small. But the rocks that are made up on the moon are typically less dense as a whole than what we have here on Earth, because Earth has a lot of really heavy elements in our core. Um, and we just have a very light outer rim of those lighter elements um, on our lithosphere and our crust. Whereas the moon, what we suspect is most of it is made up of these lighter elements, um, similar to what our crust is. So as a whole, the moon has a gravitational pull that is much less than what we have. It's only one-sixth of the Earth's. So if you wanted to figure out how much you would weigh on the moon, you just simply take your weight here on Earth and divide it by six. Okay, the temperature of the moon during the daytime, it gets as hot as about 266 degrees Fahrenheit. Very, very hot. And at nighttime, it gets as cold as negative 274 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> they vary so much because there's no atmosphere. Our atmosphere is what blankets us. Remember the greenhouse effect we talked about. It keeps that heat trapped in, allowing us to have more stable temperatures. Without, without that, we would uh, lose all of the heat that we gained throughout the daytime. So this is exactly what happens on the moon's surface. Uh, so the moon is a constant reminder of why you should be thankful for our atmosphere. Um, because it does uh, blanket us and keep us heated. So the moon's temperatures are very extreme. 
As far as water goes on the moon, it used to just be believed that there was absolutely no water there. Maybe a couple of pockets of ice, um, and that would be it. But NASA made a big discovery in 2009. We found evidence that there is a very, very thin layer of water that exists on its surface, on its soil surface. Um, it's a very, very small amount that we would suspect um, because if it was a large amount, we probably would have found it by now since we've been to the moon multiple times. Um, this picture here shows um, a caption of a uh, near the southern pole of the moon. NASA found um, evidence to suggest that there might be some pockets and regions of that water that might exist there. Most likely it would exist in the form of ice. Um, but whether it was flowing at some point in time is a big question. So this opens up a whole new round of questions that NASA would need to go to the moon uh, to explore and to finalize their theories. And then last, we're going to talk about, again, we already saw it on the video, but most of the evidence suggests that we've got from our moon samples that we went there and did experiments and brought the rock samples back. Most of our evidence points in only one direction, that the moon started by a collision. And this happened four and a half billion years ago. Um, consider that at the time the solar system was still forming, so there was tons of rocky bits of rock all around extra stuff that we certainly don't have today. And they continually bombarded and collided into each other, um, kind of clearing the field as it started to create this orbital path around the sun. Um, and so in our path was Thea. Thea was a planet-sized um, rock, so rather large size, um, that was in our um, orbital path. And so when it collided with Earth, since it was much smaller, Thea became demolished. Um, but of course, as you can see in this picture, it certainly made a giant impact. At this point, Earth was a molten ball of rock. There was no solid surface. So there's no crater or evidence on the surface right now on our planet to suggest that this happened because it was so long ago. Um, our planet was able to recover and create that spherical shape that we have today. Um, but the samples that we brought back from Mars, sorry, from the moon would um, are the same composition of what was most likely um, flown out into space from this collision from our planet. So that's kind of why we all suggest that, hey, the moon has more similarities with our planet than um, our other theories had suggested it should. It certainly isn't an asteroid or another rocky body because it's just too similar to Earth's composition. So it most likely had to have somehow come from Earth. So again, clumping together, um, and this image here shows you that collision, um, all those rocky bits clumping together to form uh, the moon, the, and it eventually solidified and cooled off to make our moon. And also notice here that this is what made us tilted. So thanks Thea for giving us our tilt. Um, that's all that we have today. So I hope that you finish up your notes and I'll see you later.